Hey, Dr. Carey here. Hey, I've been getting a ton of emails from you guys, and everybody's wondering, when are we going to teach energy balancing total body? Well, we're finally going to do it. Uh, I updated the study guide. I just uh, recently taught the class online in Tokyo. It went really well. So we're going to be teaching it in December. So just to recap things, in level one, uh, energy balancing musculoskeletal, we just worked on single locations. We did muscles, joints, uh, fascia, uh, bones, the intracranial membranes. In level two, we started to introduce multiple locations. We introduced, you know, the organs and the fascia around the organs. Uh, we talked about vectors, you know, collapsing vectors. And we introduced internal factors. We started to look at the total body lesion and how emotions uh, affect it, uh, beliefs and thoughts and, and your behavior. So now in level three, things get really interesting because we start to look at fascial chains. And a fascial chain is a, sort of a link of all these different anatomy going through the body, can be vertical, can be horizontal. So for example, you could have a lesion in the cranium here on the right side, the cranial bones, intracranial membrane, maybe even the brain, and also uh, the fascia, the external fascia could come down into the shoulder, and then into the chest and the heart, and maybe into the diaphragm. It could continue down into the right kidney and into the spine and down the right leg. That's a vertical fascial chain. It could also be horizontal. So in these fascial chains, we have to work on it all together, identify and work on it. We're gonna look at body regions. We could look at the whole body and actually work on the whole body as, as one unit, or just do the arm or a leg or a torso. We work on all the anatomy of that particular area. Now combinations is when things get really exciting. This is when, you know, when I say you're practicing energy balancing, this is how I typically do it in my body is I look at the whole body. And then as I start to work on it, I start to work on single locations, multiple locations, vectors. I'm noticing, you know, the internal factors, the emotions, the beliefs, and you start to work on everything all at once. In level three, we finish the internal factors. Remember that your body is a totality, every organ system, every organ, every tissue, um, every cell, every molecule, every atom, every subatomic particle has a function, right? And that's the consciousness. And it has to communicate with everything else. And that's the entanglement. So we're going to work on those aspects of it. So that's going to finish the internal factors. So when you visualize whatever it is we're working on is being influenced by internal factors, which are your emotions, your thoughts, your beliefs, your behavior, your consciousness, but also external factors. And external factors can be just general things in your life, people, you know, places, things, etc. But it can also be uh, biochemical. We saw that with COVID. It can be viruses, bacteria, parasites. You know, it can be toxins. Think about sick, bil sick building syndrome, things all around you or things that you're eating. Besides that, it can be roles. You know, what are the stories that you tell yourself? You know, we all have a story. You know, we have different roles that we play. And sometimes the energy around that story can affect your body. And then finally, um, just external energies around you, geopathic stress, the environment. Some people are affected by, by heat, by cold, by dryness, by dampness. Um, think about, you know, when you left your house today and you look outside and you start to notice all the power lines coming in. There's Wi-Fi. Um, there's underwater coming into your place. There's also sewage leaving it. This is all geopathic stress. How is that affecting you? And how's the orientation of things inside your home or your office affecting you? That's feng shui. So we're going to look at all the internal and external factors and how they're affecting um, the energetic lesion. So we're going to do this class in December. And if you're interested, you know, contact Kelly and she'll send you registration forms. She'll send you information. You can get more information about this class on the D'Ambrosio Institute Facebook, Instagram, uh, Carrie D'Ambrosio at LinkedIn, um, all those different sources. I'm really excited about this class. Uh, it, it's uh, because of COVID and everything kind of set us back. So I'm really excited to be offering this to you. And uh, you're going to get a lot out of it. It really puts everything together for you. So hopefully we'll see you then.